Oh yeah. Got the Tesla Model 3. Check this baby out. Let's do the daily dash, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Tesla Model Y. They're letting me borrow it for a day, and we're gonna be doing some. Uh, we're gonna be doing some like review videos. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a daily dash. We are going to kind of just talk about the car a little bit and what I like about it, and what I don't like about it. But not in this video today. We're just gonna do a quick daily dash because the sun is almost down, and uh, already my biggest disappointment about the car is that. There's nowhere for me to put this camera. So uh, I'm gonna be holding it, I guess, the whole time, which is kind of annoying, because I don't like holding the camera. But fortunately, the car drives itself, and uh, that's how you get the car into gear. If you guys have never drove a Tesla before, it's like driving a car that's like 10 times smarter than any other car. And uh, already, one thing that I'm noticing, I don't know how this is gonna sound in the video, but there's a lot of echo in here. Like, there's an extreme amount of echo in this car, which is very weird, because in my car, there's no echo at all. It's weird, right? I don't know. Anyway, so, we are going to do a quick daily dash and uh, get one order in while we're up in the Summerlin area. Just picked up this car at Summerlin Tesla. You know, one thing that I already don't like about this car, I gotta say, um, there's windows above me everywhere there's windows everywhere that's the one thing that bugged me about the Tesla Model 3 was that there's like it's just windows everywhere you know so there's always extra like brightness coming into the car and it's like kind of want to I mean especially if you have these windows that aren't tinted at all and everyone can see right in it's kind of annoying but anyway so uh, I'm gonna go uh, yeah yeah let's go back towards my house a little bit because I don't really like dashing in this Summerlin area because I'm in the middle of Las Vegas right now. But, uh, never mind, I was gonna show you how cool the strip looks, but there's no way you can see it from here. Anyways, be right back. All right, so for those of you who are confused as to why I have a Tesla right now, um, I'm borrowing a Tesla or doing the overnight test drive. They uh, give test drives for overnight uh, to new customers who are possibly gonna be buying a Tesla. Me being one of those people, I'm looking into either buying a Tesla Model Y or another Tesla Model 3. I already had the 3 before, but uh, I needed something to tow. Fortunately, this thing came out in that period of time, and this thing does tow a little bit, so I'm debating on getting this car or getting another Tesla Model 3 and then just getting like a shitty truck that tows or something like that. Um, yeah, so that's why I have this car. They do overnight test drives. If you guys are interested in getting a Tesla, I cannot say enough good things about Tesla. So call up your Tesla dealer if you're interested, but be warned, these things sell themselves. You are going to want a Tesla by the time you're done with this car, so just be warned. All right, so the car is driving me. We're headed over towards the outlet mall right now. I'm really hoping that it slows down because we got cars coming up quick. Yeah, we're slowing down. All right, yeah, so the car is basically driving itself completely. I wonder if uh, they gave me a car with full autopilot. Uh, didn't want to switch lanes, so I don't know. Not sure if this car is the full autopilot or if they, because that's like an added $10,000 feature that you got to pay for is like full autopilot. And personally, I don't think that the autopilot is worth it. I think that it's, uh, mm, I don't think they, that it's, I, I believe that the technology is there. I just don't think the legal legalities of it are there enough to where it's like really worth the extra ten thousand dollars that's just my opinion though uh in the old tesla that we had i did not pay for the ten thousand dollar autopilot but uh yeah and i don't think i would pay for it in this new one either but uh who knows so we're debating on getting a either a tesla model 3 and doing the tesla talks i think i could just like put a little like box right here so i could talk to you guys or something like that it's not that bad of a view anyways Okay, so yeah, driving over to the outlet mall. I'll get back to you guys when we get there. Let's go. All right, real quick, comment down below. This is the question to the audience. Would you prefer this background to the one that I have in my Explorer? Or 
which one would you prefer? Which one do you think is better? I don't know. I'm not sure if I would like the white backdrop or not, or if I would just like the black. I don't know. I think black might be better for me, just because like, I, I don't know, it's kind of a lot of noise going on back there. Plus you have like this distracting roof of like, you see clouds flying by and stuff. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys like the backdrop I have in my Ford Explorer versus this one right here. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, real quick update. We're at Kane's. Um, I switched over to dashing in Spring Valley area because I noticed that it was a $2 up pay right now. So I'm getting two extra dollars. And then right away I was passing Kane's and I got an order for $9 for two miles. Way too good to pass up on. I'm pulling up to the window gonna order the food right now. Hold on. Look at how cool this is. All right, so just picked up the order. It's kind of a kind of an exciting day. We got a Tesla today. Uh, I don't know. My YouTube channel would be boring if we didn't do exciting things like this. Anyway, so just got the order and about to drive over. It's to a freaking hotel. I didn't even realize that until I. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, all right. We got to deliver to a hotel. Super annoying. So I'll just get back to you guys as soon as I drop off this order because hotels is literally right there. But. Uh, hotels are super annoying. Look how nice it looks today, though. Like, look how sweet it is. By the time Tesla gets this car back, they're going to be like, why does it smell like so many different kinds of food places in here? <laughs> so I was coming back to the car, and there was this cat that was under the car, and then I went to grab the camera and then he went to the other side of the car and I could not get him on film though. I was uh, obviously trying to record the cat, but we were like playing this game where like he's on one side of the car and then I'm on the other and it was like, I couldn't get him on film though. He's sneaky, but kind of friendly, you know? Most like stray cats randomly in the middle of the street are gonna run away. And this one was, uh, anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about a cat. <laughs> I love cats. I love random, like seeing random cats and stuff. I always try to feed them. And uh, luckily, or unfortunately for this cat, that Raising Cane's wasn't mine. Otherwise, I totally would have fed him some Raising Cane's. But anyways, okay. So DoorDash 1, down. Just dropped off the Raising Cane's. And uh, man, I got to say, this car echoes a lot. Like, they were like trying to tell me like, yeah, it's like the same thing as the Model 3. There's not really like, you don't really need to like test drive it. And I'm like, trust me. I'm doing YouTube videos in the car. I gotta see what it's like, you know? Anyway, so it's kind of cool having like the white around, but I kind of think I'm gonna get black anyways. I think I would go with black on black, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, so I think we got another DoorDash order. So I don't think Tesla would be stoked if they knew that I uh, borrowed their car to do DoorDash order. So look, Panda Express, 1.7 miles for $8. And where does it deliver to? It delivers to the middle of a street. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sure this address is wrong. All right, we're gonna do one more order and then we're gonna wrap up this, this door dash. I don't like, I really hate dashing in the middle. Check that out, bam. I really hate dashing in the middle of the city because we're in the like central area of Las Vegas right now. And I don't know, I hate being in the central area of Las Vegas. It's just too much traffic and I feel like I'm back in LA and like, I don't know, it's just not a good time. That's why I like being in my area of like the pretty much like country area of Las Vegas, like super far away from like all of the rest of the city basically. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna go pick up this Panda Express order. And uh, but yeah, by the time they get this car back, it's going to smell like a bunch of different kinds of foods. Um, yeah, sorry Tesla. Check it out. Look at how accurate this map is. I don't feel like driving. You drive Tesla. Oh, never mind, it's not working. All right, order number two, the final order of the day. And I only got to drive like literally like down the street. So this is another super short order, but again, delivering to more apartments. Uh, one of the greatest things about the Tesla, which doesn't work for me right now, is uh, your key is your phone. So whenever you get in and out of the car, the car just automatically knows you're in here. But for now, I gotta use this card 
and place it on the that little area right there by the drink holders so that way Tesla knows that I'm in the car man I was listening to Elon Musk talk about like their airbags and how like they update their airbags to deploy in certain ways check out these freaking cameras though there's literally three rear view cameras two on each side or one on each side and then one in the back but yeah so listen to Elon Musk talk about how they can update their airbags to deploy in certain ways depending on how you're sitting in the seat like dude these things are next level compared to any other car every other car is dumb so dumb look at these ducks geese geese not ducks all right and that is going to wrap it up for today's video thank you guys for tuning in to the daily dash and if you guys haven't yet please consider liking this video because it really helps out my channel it knows that i that you guys enjoyed these videos and helps me out a lot and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet i know i ask that all the time but just please just subscribe to the channel maybe tap that notification bell while you're at it just, just throw it in there real quick anyways also if you guys haven't checked out off axis acrobatics.com that is my footwear company use the discount code off axis tanner o-f-f-a-x-i-s-t-a-n-n-e-r for 30 percent off footwear and we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace